in this episode, I tell you why now is the most important thing that you should be thinking of. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome back to Michael Sano has a podcast. I'm Michael Sano. I'm the Michael Sano and Michael Sano has a podcast. So, uh, so, so I have a, uh, a pretty interesting episode, uh, to bring you today. Um, so I got to tell you a little bit of a backstory. Um, so before I, I was supposed to put this video out a week ago. All right. So this video was supposed to come out a week ago. Um, I had a wedding to go to. I had a bunch of schoolwork uh, at the University of Florida. Go Gators. Um, and my son had a bunch of schoolwork. I'm sort of his advisor. He's going to the University of Florida. Go Gators. Um, remotely. So we've been winding up the uh the the end of the end of the semester but i haven't been getting all of the stuff that i need to do uh done i've been uh, i i told you guys in an earlier episode what my workouts like uh monday wednesday fridays um monday wednesday fridays i'm doing resistance training on t on tuesdays and thursdays i swim uh a half mile so my week is pretty full. Plus I do this stuff. Uh, plus I do see in land fitness that, uh, my company, which is who, uh, Michael Sano has a prod, uh, has a podcast is brought to you by. Um, so I'm, I'm doing a lot of things. There are a lot of hands, uh, that I don't have. And sometimes things fall through the cracks, but that isn't always an excuse for not getting stuff done. Sometimes stuff has to get done whether you have time or not. Um, and what I'm going to tell you guys about today is what I have coined in my research. Yes, I'm a sports scientist. In my research, I call it the, the immediacy principle. Um, so what is the immediacy principle? And... To put it simply, it, sorry, Nike, just do it. Just do it. Do it immediately. Do it as soon as it pops into your head. Um, I haven't been doing this. Um, I've been letting things slip by because I'm human. You know what I mean? We all are. Um, but what's interesting is certain, certain things don't slip by. Certain things don't, um, not get done. So there are certain tasks like my, my fitness regimen, uh, that has to occur. Um, but sometimes that slips too. Sometimes I'll only swim once instead of twice, or I'll have to work out on another day or something like that. But nine times out of 10, nine times out of 10, I'm doing everything when I need to do it and it's getting done. Um, and a lot of that has to do with the immediacy principle. Now, the immediacy principle is part of my larger, and I'm going to go deeper into what it is, but it's part of my larger um, directional motivation uh, structure that I've created, the model that I've created. Uh, directional motivation being, hold on, let me grab this, step away from the microphone, and it is this. That our, our behaviors are driven by want or fear. And if we can address those behaviors, um, identify those behaviors, then we can digest them, move past them, and do what we need to do. Um, what do I mean by that? So this weekend, not this weekend, the weekend before, I had to drive down to King of Prussia, Philadelphia, uh, to go to a wedding. And... My eyesight's not that great, um, but I want to be able to drive further. Uh, I want to drive all the way down to Gainesville um, rather than fly in because it's just cheaper, more economical. So what did I do? I decided that that fear of me 
being on the highway um, wasn't going to cripple me uh, <laughs> that much. Um, and I drove down there. I did it. I came back. White knuckled the entire way, but I did it. But that also falls into a couple of different parts of directional motivation, which are the decision. Once you've identified these things, make a decision. Am I going to engage in this or am I going to step away from it? Um, a lot of us make that decision subconsciously and just step away. And I'm going to go deeper into these things later. But what I want to focus on right now is the immediacy principle. And when it was time to drive, when it was time to go down there, I got in the car and I drove. When it was time to leave on Sunday, I was up at 830, packed my stuff up, took it downstairs, and I was ready to go because I had made that decision. Immediate, immediate. It had to happen. Okay. So the immediacy principle and the decision are kind of married together. Um, but they are different principles themselves. And immediacy just means that when something pops into your head, you go and do it. Um, a good example was this morning. Um, I needed to make this podcast. I knew I needed to make this podcast, but I goofed off and I played video games all weekend because I don't normally play video games. Um, I had a big exam. I, I have a ton of excuses. Uh, for why I goofed off. I am not apologetic for for goofing off because I needed that downtime. Um, but I knew that Monday I needed to do it. Uh, now, in order to do that, I needed to shave. I hate shaving. Hate it. I absolutely hate shaving. Um, it's not been uncommon for the past couple of years for me to have this big, bushy mountain man beard. Um, not because it was cool, not because it was, you know, in vogue right now, um, but basically laziness, sheer laziness. Um, I'm going to tell you, this is embarrassing, but I'm going to tell you this. Because of, um, I have some... Uh, mental health things that I deal with. Uh, and this is so gross. I can't believe I'm telling you this. Hold on. I need a sip of coffee. Um, Peter Madera, this is for you. Um, because of that, because of some of these mental health issues that I, that I, I don't struggle with, I deal with. Um, it's often difficult for me to motivate myself to take a shower. The immediacy principle helps with that. Um, shaving, the immediacy principle helps with that. Um, getting in the car and going to the pool to swim, the immediacy principle helps with that. I'm across the river from West Point. I'm at the University of Florida. A lot of my schoolwork is remote. Um, so I live in the Hudson Valley in New York, across the river from West Point. It's cold as balls right now. It is so cold. Um, it's only November 21st, I think, and it is, last night it was 28 degrees. Um, my gym's in the garage. The immediacy principle. Put on some clothes, get out there. I know you don't want to go out there, but you need to. You know you need to. Because the result you get will outweigh not doing it. So there are some tricks that I do. Um, before I go into that, I want to tell you it has served me so well. I have been way more productive. So a lot of people will give you all these things. Oh, write yourself a little, little uh, one, two, three, write a list, do this, do that. They give you all of these external devices. Okay. Um, these external devices, they may work for some people. But I'm going to tell you the general population will do it just like a, uh, what do you call it? A New Year's resolution. The general population will do it for a short period of time and then discard it as a, uh, as a practice. Uh, they'll stop doing it, okay? Um, 
it is only, only, only through a specific, specific decision that you make within your brain, within your mind, within your consciousness, uh, that will make the immediacy principle work. Okay. No, if you haven't done it because somebody else has told you to do it a million times, you're not going to do it because of a list because a list is external. It's not an internal change in behavior. Okay. You need an internal change in behavior in order to do this. And this is why I think the decision and the immediacy principle are married. They are married together. So I'm going to give you an example of what I do uh, for the shower. Okay. Um, so if I know I need a shower and it's time, it's easy. It is so easy just to say, I got to take the garbage out. I got to do this. I got to do that. Oh, what's that new thing on YouTube? So what I do is I put these, um, sort of put these things into play is the best way to describe it. Uh, these little, and they're not triggers, they're genuine actions. So I put these actions into play that kind of put me past a point of no return. Okay. Meaning <laughs> if I do this and then don't do the intended uh, action or behavior, then I'm a shit bag because I physically have to go undo what I did in order to not engage in the behavior. That sounded really convoluted, but I'm going to actually simplify it by telling you what I do for a shower. So sometimes I get bummed out, depressed, uh, winter, uh, seasonal affect, um, and I just want to stay in the same clothes and stay at my desk and do stuff. So what I'll do is I'll go in and I will turn on the shower. I'm not undressed. A lot of times what we do is we go into the bathroom, we get undressed, then we take a shower and there's this process. What if we put the point of no return in front? Okay. Let's put the point of no return in front. Um, so I turn on the shower. So, and then go grab all the things that I need in order to take a shower. So if I go into the bathroom to turn off that shower, that's an action I have to take to not do what I need to do. Okay. So those of you who are suffering from depression, those of you who are suffering from some type of mood disorder where, um, taking a shower doesn't happen. I'm not saying you got, I'm not saying I'm dirty. I'm not saying you guys are dirty. Uh, <laughs> physical hygiene is very important to me. Um, just want you to know that I wear deodorant. Um, but taking a shower, especially in this COVID atmosphere, you know what I mean? I hate to bring up COVID, but how many showers do we take? Did you take over the entire stay at home stuff? You know what I mean? I'm probably, it was much less far less than when you went in and out of work every day. So by doing that one thing, by flipping on that shower handle, you're, you're doing it. Same goes with washing dishes. I actually love to wash dishes. So that one doesn't really work with me. I don't know why it's calming. I'll put on my headphones, listen to some pit bull dance around in front of the sink, but I'm in heaven. Um, but working out. So it's cold right now. So what do I do? Um, I go and I put, I wear Converse. Um, they're right here, actually. Ugly orange Converse that I love. Um, they are the best workout shoe on the planet. Um, I dig them. But I wear Converse, you know. Um, I have to actually put them on, tie them. Sometimes uh, I'm not in workout pants, so I'll put on workout pants tie my shoes. Now I'm ready. Now I have no reason to not go out. I've done this, taken this initiatory step, um, this first step to getting out and doing what I need to do immediately. Um, as far as 
getting this podcast done. So I had to shave this morning um, because I wanted to look presentable on the YouTube version of this. Um, so I went in the bathroom, took off my shirt, went in the bathroom, shaved. My son is awesome about this because my son could be, oh, I'm going to get in so much trouble for this, qualified as lazy. He is not a lazy kid, though, because I can call him and I could say, can you come down to the cat box? Can you come outside, help me move some stuff in the garage? Can you do this? Can you do this? All right, yeah. Um, are you sure you need a couple minutes? No, I'd rather take care of it right now and get it out of the way. That's my kid. My kid, apparently I've done it enough that my kid knows that that's the standard. And that is the standard. Um, I do it specifically. So on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, I'm using the barbell. I got a lot of weight on that barbell. Um, and it's cold outside. And I don't want, to, <laughs> I don't want to lift it, but it's so funny because I put my hands on that barbell and when my hands hit the barbell, the immediacy principle kicks in. All right. Cause I've seen, I've seen guys prep to lift something. I've seen gals left, uh, prep to lift something, put your hands on the bar, step away. You go like that a little bit. Um, come back. You do a couple of breaths. Then you get back on the bar. No. When I get to the bar, it's time to work. Boom. Let's do it. Um, the immediacy principle serves me very well. Um, I'm going to have another sip of coffee. Hold on one sec. So, what am I saying? Basically, what I'm saying is that when you recognize, so remember, we were talking about this, we were talking about um, want, and we were talking about fear. So I'm going to tie it all in, I'm going to make it all work. So when you see something you want to do, or you see something you do not want to do, but you know, it's required to get done. You need to tell yourself in your brain, immediacy principle. Just say that phrase, immediacy principle. Because when you say the phrase immediacy principle, it's going to trigger something inside your head that I need to do this now. Just do it is really good. Nike, hats off to you guys. But it's external. You understand what I mean? Just do it is someone telling you to just do it. And I'm telling you that that external doesn't translate to the subconscious. Okay. Um, it doesn't translate to inner motivation, um, internal motivation. And that's what we're really keying on. We are keying in on internal motivation. So, Human beings are really good at following rules, following guidelines. Um, if that wasn't the case, <laughs> what is it? 175,000 years of, of human existence wouldn't have occurred. Um, we can argue, well, there are people in the news shooting people. There are people, there's a war in this place and there are th this and this and this. But overall, humans follow internal guidelines very well um i'm not getting religious but uh i'm bringing this up as a point of reference so the ten commandments okay um those are 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 inherent i think in human beings it's why they've uh existed for so long um, it's why they've been, they are a part of the human condition, human existence. Um, so by that logic, you know, understanding that, um, people are inclined to 
do what's needed to be done in order to sustain not just ourselves, but everyone. You know what I mean? And the immediacy principle applies to positive behaviors that we need to engage in. I need to do this immediately. Um, I need to do that immediately. I need to feed the cats immediately. Um, I need, uh, we have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's a perfect example of the immediacy principle. We need to do something in order to maintain the homeostatic environment within our body. Um, we need to get rid of that waste so that we can travel through space. I'm talking physics, not like, woo so that we can travel through our lives so to speak um so the urgency that we have in order to engage in that physical behavior which is required needs to be the urgency that we apply to all of our behaviors i'm not saying if you need to go work out that you need to do it like you have to pee real bad that's that's not at all what i'm saying what i am saying though is that you need to recognize inside of your brain you need to make a decision that the immediacy principle is something that you're going to apply to your everyday life um I'm going to tell you, you will not be successful with everything, and that's okay. There's going to be stuff that slips. There's going to be days when you don't shave for a couple days. There's going to be days when you need to rest more than you need to do your work. Um, there's going to be days when you are going to not succeed. But if the number of days that you employ the immediacy principle outweigh the number of days that you don't even by one then you're a success you're doing a great job you're doing a good job man um so yeah the immediacy principle is something that i personally feel that everyone should apply to their lives if they want to feel success in their lives um You'll find that a lot of things get done. You'll, at the end of the day, be able to go, oh, wow. Kind of can't believe I got all that stuff done today. I had a lot of stuff done. You will feel more successful in your life. I actually use, it's so hilarious. So I used to use, there's a couple of games on my phone that I used to play every night before bed. Um, I know, I know, I know. The light from the screen, all that stuff, it's bad. Yes, that's why I'm telling this story. Um, so I used to play, what did I used to play? Dominoes, two sets of dominoes, and solitaire. Uh, ten, ten draws, you know, ten wins. And then I had to go to sleep. And then I would roll over and go to sleep. And I get good sleep, uh, but I realized that I probably wasn't getting the best sleep that I could. And I say realized I might because that was what I was doing every night. So I didn't know any different. Um, I made a decision that I was going to use the immediacy principle when I went to bed. So now what I do is I hop into bed turn on the fan, hop into bed, because I have to sleep with a fan, um, turn out the light and just go to sleep. Did it take a little while longer? Some nights. But I got to tell you, overall, using the immediacy principle just to get myself to bed has resulted in me getting more rest. Rest that I needed to go up in weights on the barbell. Um, and I couldn't have done it without the immediacy principle. There's a lot of stuff I couldn't have done without the immediacy principle. As a matter of fact, as soon as I get done here, I got to go to Sam's club to get toilet paper. Um, do I want to? No, it's, uh, I'd rather stay home, but I have to do it. The immediacy principle. <laughs> 
All right. Um, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, this is going to be part of like a little mini series. Like I do um, talks about some of the stuff from my program in applied physiology and kinesiology at the University of Florida. And if you have any questions about that program, reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to get you into it uh, or get you the information you need to to get yourself into it. Um, and in particular, the uh, I do one episode where I speak about something from my research that I'm doing and then an interview the next week. So um, I'm going to be talking about the decision. I'm going to be talking about directional motivation theory. I'm going to be talking to you probably more about the immediacy principle, uh, which I think is big. All in an effort to get my book written which is going to be called the decision um which i really really gotta use the immediacy principle to get my ass in gear but yeah that's it um this is brought to you by sea and land fitness so go check us out we got hats we got gear if you need help with uh with your motivation reach out to me i'd be more than happy to consult with you um and that's it all right thanks a lot See you soon.